Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So today I'm going to show you how to create a Valentine's Day design in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just get started. Welcome to Final Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's open up our application. Um, I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to make this document um, an A4 document. So I just click on OK from here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a group and I'm going to call this group um, background. You can name it whatever you want but I like to keep my work organized. Then I'm going to be using these two images. That's the image of the rose and that of the glass. I'm going to import the rose first. So I click and drag that in here. Try to center this um, here. Okay, so let's bring that down. You know, you know what? Let's create another group for that and call this images. And I will import the other one. That would be the glass. Now I'm, I'm using the glass because I want to cover up, you know, this particular hole right here. So I just place a glass in there to cover up that hole. Anyway. So basically, um, this is going to be the beginning. Um, for the background, I'm going to create a new rectangle. So uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle like so, just to cover up the entire screen. So I'll just extend it using my move tool. Now once I've done that, I'll double click on the thumbnail and make this a little bit um, darker like so. So I'm going with DFDFDF. And I'll click on OK. So currently we just have the background like so. This is already looking awesome. But I'm going to FX and I'll click on Stroke. And I'm going to apply a stroke inward. So let's make that a solid white. You know what? Let's make it red first so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'll increase the size to about 50. Now with 50, make sure that the position is set to inside and not outside. Outside is going to be outside so you wouldn't be able to see. Now I can change the color to solid white or sample a red color from here. So I think something like this should look just fine. Now um, I think 50 is a little bit too much. Let's make it 30 and I'll click on OK. Now I think I'm done with the background. So let's go ahead and add in our text. So for the text, I'm going with um, a font called Kilogram. I'll try and leave a link in the description below. And the first part, you know what, let's create a new group and call this text so that all our work is organized. So I'm going to type in 14 and change the color to solid white and increase the font size to, um, I think 200 points should be just fine. Now, um, using my rulers, that's Control R on your keyboard, I'll try to align this at the center. So let's bring this at the center somewhere around here. So I'll double click on the T right here and change the color to um, like this red. Okay, and I'll comment OK up here. Now go down to stroke and I'll add a stroke to this. Let's make the stroke color white. And I'm going to change it from inside to outside. So we have something like this. Um, a stroke of about 10 should be just fine. Now for the main text, which is the 14, I'm going to draw a circle around it. Actually, I'm going to draw a circle on top of it. So whilst holding down shift, you get a perfect circle like so. And I'll grab the move tool and our position is somewhere around here. Should be just fine. Now, once I've done that, make sure that your ellipse or the circle you just drew is on top of the text itself. Now, right click and go to create clipping mask. That's going to be on top of the image like so. So anytime you move it up, it's just um, taking up that portion. So I reduce the opacity to about, let's try um, 30. And I think this is what I want. Okay, it's looking much nicer already. So I'll grab my type 2 and I'll type one more time. This time around, I'm going to type in February. I'm going to use the font called Vedana. 
anyway i'll highlight the whole of this and i'll make it a bold text and let's just reduce the size to fit the screen like so so i think a font size of about 36 let's try 30 30 would be just fine so again i'll change the color to this solid color and i'll click on ok and i'll add a stroke to this too just a simple one um i think a stroke of about five should be just fine now for the main text i will type in valentine day and i'll change the font back to kilogram that's the main font i'm using for this tutorial and i'll increase the size to right around something like this should be just fine so i think um let's try 100 too much let's try 95 okay and this is already looking awesome now don't bother yourself about the color because we are going to be adding in a gradient overlay so with that text selected the valentine's day text selected click on fs and go to gradient overlay now click on this um, rectangle over here and select the presets orange yellow orange right here and click on ok now you are not seeing this because my opacity is set to 5% so I just increase it all the way and now I'm seeing the effect so if I try to move it you can see it from here now I'm going to um, change the angle to something like um, 135 degrees and I'm going to increase the scale till I'm comfortable so I think a scale of 100% should be just fine now you can see we have this effect looking like so now this is already looking nice to me I'm going to click on bevel and emboss and I'll increase the opacity of white to maximum and I'll reduce the opacity of the dark side to a little bit like this so you can go ahead and play with the angle I'm going with an angle of um, 75 sorry and I'll just click on OK up here. Now you can also soften this up so that it doesn't look too solid like so. And I think um, that will be just fine. So I'll play with the size a little bit. A size of about 5 pixels should be just fine. And I'll click on OK. Now before I do that, I think I can reduce the opacity a little bit. It's looking too shiny. So um, the opacity of the highlight will be um, 70 and the... Uh, shadow will be just 20 percent so i'm going ahead to add in the rest of the text so basically that's it um the last part would be for the background i'll just sample any part of the rows so i'll just be using the lasso tool to do that i'll just sample some parts like so i'll just right click and go to layer via copy then i'll place this somewhere around here now mind you i'm going to put um let's say particles i'm going to put this in the background layer so that it will be beneath it now whilst holding on alt i'll just click and drag this somewhere here and i'll do that over here and somewhere around here also now for this part i'll just increase it it doesn't have to be perfect i'm not holding down shift and alt and i'll position this somewhere around here to now I'm going to be blurring these parts up, that's why I'm not so concerned about how they look now. Okay, so once I'm, I've done those, I can just merge them up. Now I'll go to filter and I'll go to blur and under blur, I'll click on Gaussian blur. And I'll add in a Gaussian blur of about 10 pixel and click on OK. So basically that is it. But before I let you go, let's add in an, an effects group. Now I'm going to create three lines that is going to be running through diagonally. So I'll just grab the rectangle tool. I'll create one like so. I'll rotate it to about, uh, let's rotate it to about negative 45 degrees. And I'll place this somewhere around here. Now I'll go to filter before that, make sure you rasterize this by right clicking. So I'll go to filter and I'll go to blur and under blur I'll click on motion blur. And I'll set it to the same angle I rotated this. So I'll increase this to about um, 500 pixel. That's the distance and I'll click on OK. Now I'll create another blur on top of it. That's the Gaussian blur. 
and again with 10 pixels should be just fine now i'll duplicate this by ctrl j or just clicking and dragging from here so i'll place this um somewhere close to each other like so now once i've done that i'll just reduce the opacity to about um 80 percent so it creates this sort of light over the text so basically that's it but before that i'm going to move this text to the top like so so that i can at least reveal the images a little bit so for the glass i'll duplicate it and i'll place one here and but i'm going to reduce the size to something like so and i'm going to place this just at the bottom over here let's increase it a little bit and i'm going to duplicate it one more time but this time around so ctrl j this time around i'm going to place it to the left side and i'll drop these two beneath the main glass so let's call this main okay so i'll just place these two at the back of the main glass like so so basically that's it that's the whole effect thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share this with your family and friends this is theo from final concept and i'll see you guys in the next one